Alright, so the sun is currently setting and I've got a hike bag on. I'm just gonna set up a tent somewhere and yeah. There is a train track over that way. I don't know why I need to mention that, but that's a thing. Secret corner? Where? Okay. I'm confused. Is there something secret or is that just there for no point at all? I feel like it's there for no point. So yeah, lots of people bring bikes here and there's lots of bike jumps and that. I guess this is the main hub for doing your bike shit. I don't know. A bit like a skate park really. Just for bikes. Okay, I just realized I'm an idiot. I brought this light with me because I wanted to test it out. It, it's supposed to attach to the GoPro, but I forgot to bring the thing that screws in here. So I can't actually attach it to the GoPro. So now I have to basically just hold it when it gets dark. I feel kind of silly forgetting that, but I'll make it work. I always find it hard to read graffiti, like what words it's actually trying to say. Like what is that? I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know what it's trying to say. I mean, that's a penis, but I feel like you get that at every graffiti spot you go to, you know. Never mind. Now, I know there is a cave somewhere along this walk. It's still a fair while to go to get to the cave. It's nothing big, but it's cool, nonetheless. What is this? Rubbish bags? Full of what? Huh. Okay. I guess someone's getting rid of all of these. Fair enough. This track is actually run by, like, maintained by volunteers, so it has a relative amount of activity on it. But I figure no one should be here at night, and no one should be here at 3 a.m. when I pack, pack up and leave. I love rocks; they're the best. Alright, so I packed some food with me. <clears throat> Chinese. Can't go wrong. We're good. Good to go. What does this say? The palace. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's even a, a quarry somewhere out in that direction. And there's a jail over in that direction. So, hopefully there's no riot on tonight. But now imagine riding your bike through here and you come off and get pierced on a rock. That'd be so shit. <laughs> I'd much rather skate flat ground, flat slippery concrete than jagged rocks, you know. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> I'm kind of keen just to scale those rocks. They look pretty fun. Oh man, this sucks. I wish I had the attachment to attach the light. Look, they try to fence it off. How do you fence a rocky cliff face like this? Is that a lizard? No. That, that's a cave, broadly speaking. Oh, that's actually a nice view. This is where the train track goes. Damn. <sighs> yep. 
the idea was to get to the cave before it got dark but I don't think that's happening now it'd be kind of sick if a train came across right now but I doubt it I should probably find the trail again I'm gonna lose the trail and then I'm gonna get lost yeah, I'm gonna find the trail again because I don't want to get too lost Yikes. Is that a puff? Hopefully. Just because it might not be, I might just go back to where I was before. Just to confirm that this is a puff. And there's lots of little footprints in here, so this looks legit. Yeah, okay, so this is, this is the path. So the arrow is pointing that way. But I'm gonna go this way instead, because it still looks like a path, and it still brings me to where I need to be. So this will be interesting. Besides, I think the cave is, so, is off like where the path tells you to go, I think. Oh yeah, it literally is. The cave's up on top of that hill. I, I would have ran past it. Uh. Yeah, it's up here. <laughs> this is the cave. It's not big at all, but... Oh, do I fit? <laughs> With the backpack, barely. <laughs> Sorry about the cut to this. My GoPro ran out of batteries as soon as I entered the cave. But uh, anyway, this is the cave. It's nothing big, like I said. But it has some nice cave features. That's pretty sick. I was uh, thinking about staying the night in here, but I brought my tent. So I want to set up a tent somewhere. And it's a bit dusty in here. So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool nonetheless. It's a nice little spot. Okay. All the mosquitoes are getting attracted to my bright light. Bugs and shit. I don't know why I brought my bag in the cave. Okay, so I've done all the things that I wanted to do. It's pretty much just go to the cave. That's really all I had on my mind. So now I'm just gonna look for a place to set up camp. Somewhere flat, somewhere soft, but not too soft. And somewhere a little bit off the path. I was hoping I'd be able to get to the cave before it got dark, but nah. Okay, so I wanna go up here and see if there's a a nice spot up here. It's just very rocky, isn't it? That's uh, the worst part. That's a little sketchy. Why is there a sack here? Yeah, no. I was hoping that this hill would be a, a little bit flat, but no. Honestly, the best. What's this look like? Well, this is slightly better, but not really. My tent isn't very big, so I mean, I could make this little area work. But yeah, as far as flat ground goes, I think I'll be willing to give this a shot. I'm gonna call it a night. See you in the morning. I was trying to sleep. And a fucking train comes out of nowhere. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I thought a whole train was coming straight through my tent. That was scary. Anyway, good night. I'll see you in the morning now.
is 4 a.m. That is time to get out of bed. I made a mistake. And er <laughs> earlier in the night, I took a piss up here. And of course that's uphill. So the piss went downhill. Almost, almost, almost hit the tent. But it stopped there. <laughs> Luckily. Otherwise I would have had piss on my tent. And that wouldn't be ideal. Alright lads, we are all packed up. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go. Where did I come from? I'm pretty sure I went down here, right? I gotta remember now. There were about four trains that passed the other night. The first train that passed kind of spooked me. Not gonna lie, it was very loud. But no, I actually got a decent night's sleep, with all things considered. It wasn't too bad. I mean, for 4 a.m., I feel pretty good. How did that tree get ripped out? Surely it was dug out. No way, it just fell over. Imagine walking across someone at 4 a.m. on this bush trail. They'd probably be out bearing a body or some sketchy shit like that. And they probably think I'm out bearing a body. But no, every train that went past my tent last night honked its horn when it got right next to me. It was bullshit. They honked their horn every time. It's like, for fuck's sake. Uh... Hmm. Any mini money my catch ticket by the toe if you let it go any mini money my boy skin you're in. Okay. I hope that was the right decision. I mean I did any mini money mo, so of course it's the right decision. I wanna go this way because that's more towards the train tracks. If I can stay closer to the train track okay never mind i don't think that goes anywhere i'll go the other way i think that log might be telling me not to go that way this way it is then holy shit look at that spider hopefully no body broke into my car that's probably like the one thing that concerns me out of everything is leaving my car unattended. I feel like someone's gonna be an asshole and just smack a window. So here we are. Down doesn't have trails, keep dogs on a lead, no camping. Sure. Alrighty. I don't think anyone robbed us. I mean we're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. So that's probably helped us a little bit. But at the same time, if someone found a car in the middle of fucking nowhere, you'd think, oh yeah, that's an easy robbery. Son of man is delivered. Yeah. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Say hello in the comments. And goodbye.